Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I've got lots of ideas for you today on what you can knit with cotton. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Nat to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, we're talking cotton yarn today and what you can knit with it. So the new home collection that is appearing in the knitting shop this week is all about cotton. We are using a Rowan cotton and a Wool and the Gang cotton as well for one of the items, but we're focusing on summery colours and a cotton yarn. So cotton yarn is brilliant to knit in the summer because it doesn't stick to your hands like wool might and it feels lighter and cooler as you're knitting. We're going to just have a little ramble around a few knitting niches and see what we can find in them with that you can knit with cotton. So why knit with cotton yarn anyway? So first thing first, cotton is hygienic, it's easy to wash and reuse. It's easier to wash than wool, so you're not going to have the shrinkage problem. Also, like I said, it's lovely to knit with in the summer because it's a cool yarn, easy to knit with, it doesn't stick to the needles and it doesn't make your hands sticky either because there aren't quite so many fibres coming off of the yarn as there are with wool. And the other reason is that it's ideal for vegans or vegetarians. If you don't want to use um, yarn that comes from an animal, then cotton is an ideal, it's a plant, and you can find organic, sustainable, fair trade cotton available, and also recycled cotton as well. You may have seen when we had the baby blanket launch in the spring, that one of the yarns we were using for that was the Wool and the Gang recycled denim. And of course, denim is made with cotton. So yes, that is an option too. You can definitely find the recycled and the organic cottons out there too. And because it's a natural fiber, it's got that beauty of being breathable and warm. Okay, let's get on to what you can knit with it. Let's talk about home items first. Think about what's in your home already that's knit, created with cotton and you can very likely knit it. Let's think about dishcloths, towels, face cloths, shower scrubbies, makeup remover pads as well. I also like it for items that will be brushing against other fabrics such as clothes hanger covers and lavender bags simply because like I said before, there are fewer fibres coming off of the cotton yarn, same with linen, same with hemp, same with bamboo, um, and that means there's going to be less lint buildup against other fabrics. So if you're using um, clothes hanger covers, then that means that there's going to be less lint um, stacking up and brushing against the other items that you're hanging. So those are very obvious home items. A lot of the bathroom and the kitchen items are made with Egyptian cotton, um, tea towels are made with cotton or linen, so you can knit them very simply. Um, you can even just cast on and cast off once you finish knitting the square or the rectangle that you want and that's it. You can use it as a tea towel, you can use it as a dishcloth, you don't need a complicated pattern. If you've got some spare yarn, knit yourself a dishcloth, it can be that simple. Okay, so let's move away from the home and think about babies. Babies are a very classic knit that you will use cotton for. So of course there are the baby blankets. The spring launch that we did with lots of baby blankets, there are four patterns over there in the shop for you. If you want to knit up a baby blanket, do go and have a look at them. They are all knitted in cotton for the very simple reason that I personally have been knitting baby blankets for years. I tried lots of different fibres for baby blankets. The acrylic ones worked, they lasted. The cotton ones worked, they lasted. The wool ones, they were absolutely adored. They were beautiful, but guess what? They got lost in the washing cycle. They went in the washing machine with other items because you've got baby brain. When you have a newborn baby, it's just one of those things. So it made a mistake, goes in the washing machine and it's slightly too hot, it shrinks. Even if it's just a percentage of wool, it still was shrinking. So that was the problem with using wool. And I am very much a sustainability person when it comes to knitting. You know that by now, if you've seen any more of my videos. 
So I've gone for cotton. Long term, I'm going to knit with cotton for baby. It's sustainable. It's biodegradable. So without the acrylic in it, yes, you may feel that it's not going to quite hold its shape, but fold it properly after it's been washed and dried. And guess what? It's in its shape again. Dry on an error instead of in the tumble dryer. And guess what? It's standing there, sitting there in its shape without a problem. And it lasts for years. I knitted a cotton blanket for a baby. A friend of mine had triplets, so I knitted three. And it was the cotton one that lasted. The cotton one that got to a point where she told me when this lovely, adorable boy was five years old, Hannah, you've got to find the same yarn and you've got to knit another one because he loves it. He takes it everywhere. The other babies hadn't grabbed onto their baby blankets that were knitted in other fibres, but the cotton one had lasted and the cotton one had been loved and adored. It made so much sense to just take that as a sign, as a proof of point. Cotton is perfect for baby items. So cardigans, beanies, bodysuits, sleep sacks. It's smooth against baby's skin and it will wash without shrinking. Simple as that. It's a no brainer. And if you need them, it's an ideal yarn. Either get hold of a four ply or a DK cotton and you can knit um, scratch mitts as well and baby booties. I've knitted them in cotton. And they're beautiful. They are perfect because they are so smooth against the baby's skin. They don't have any worries if they've got eczema or anything like that. And because it's a natural fibre, it's got that beauty of being breathable and warm. And so many cottons out there have a beautiful large range of colours too. So you can pick your pinks, your blues and your neutrals as well. Now let's knit for ourselves, shall we? Yeah, we are allowed to knit for ourselves. <laughs> okay, so what can you knit for yourself? Now, cotton, of course, is an ideal yarn for the summer. So let's knit some summer clothes. Cardigans, boleros, vests, camisoles. The knitting patterns are out there. I know some of these are very classic crochet patterns. I would not suggest knitting yourself a bikini. <laughs> crochet it because then it will hold together and the um, stitches are much more likely to stay in place. The stitches are going to be stronger in the, in a way that the knitted fabric is generally known to be much looser. You can knit lacy jumpers. Oh wow, I absolutely loved one of my crocheted cotton jumpers that I created for myself when I was much, much younger. I made so many squares and I sewed them all together. And you can do exactly the same thing with knits, with a knitting pattern as well. Beautiful lace all the way up the front, the back and the sleeves. And it's ideal cover up. You can knit a really long one too, and that's perfect for being by the swimming pool or the beach. And of course, you can create beautiful summery shawls with cotton as well. Knitted accessories in cotton, how about net bags? I love them. They're really useful for the summer. It gives the items in the bag a chance to breathe. And why not, eh? It's just something different. And you can't really use a net bag in the middle of winter when it's pouring with rain. Yes, in this country, we do get rain um, in the summer. But you watch the forecast, you know what's going to happen. Use a net bag. You can all use, also use that for veg for storage in the home, or indeed for going out and shopping. For knitting more for yourself for the home with cotton, small purses, tablet cases, bookmarks, one of my favorite knits with cotton. And of course, the one thing that I, I love the idea of, and I actually haven't made these myself, I really do want to get to grips and sort myself out and knit some for myself. And that is knitted baskets for storage. I'd love to be able to just put my shampoo in them on the side and then only take them into the shower when I need them because the bottles and the labels get absolutely saturated in the shower. I want them to sit on the side. If they can be in a basket exclusively for me, then I'd actually really like that. So knit yourself a basket. One tip for you, use a smaller size needle than the yarn recommends and then the fabric that you create will be tighter. All of the stitches will sit together more closely on the needle when you've um, created it. The fabric will then be tighter as well. That's why with the baby blankets, we use a slightly larger needle than suggested. So it's a really nice, loose, floppy fabric, which is ideal for the baby to just grab hold of and roll over. 
So just think about that too. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you've knitted anything with cotton. I'd love to know. I'm sure you've got tons of ideas. I just kept adding to this list as I was going through it and I thought, right, I can stand here and give you a hundred ideas for knitting with cotton. But well, let's just drop them all in the comments. Let me know what you've knitted with cotton and any ideas that you've had as well that you can knit with cotton. Leave me an emoji. How about a bright sun? Um, down there in the comments too if you come up with some more ideas I want to see them shining and we can use them in the summer brilliant okay of course as I mentioned the new knitting kits for the home are coming out this week keep an eye out make sure you're on my email list the wait list is down below click on that link go and add your email address if you're not already on my email list you will get the link before it's anywhere else to go and have a look. You will get links to all of the items if you're on my email list before anyone else on the internet even know it's open. So if you want in, then do it quickly. Go and stick your name in the email list. Okay, so you'll have items, the knitting kits, and if you're in our um, postal areas, then you will get those kits in the post quickly. And of course you'll get the patterns so if you are not in our postal area or you say actually I've got enough yarn in my stash I can knit this without a problem then do that go for it but get the patterns um, they will be in the shop as well the digital patterns will be available so they'll all be open if you're in our email list but of course they'll be open to everybody a couple of days later all right then how's that does that sound cool and I do have to tell you we are having a knit along. A knit along for the shower scrubby. Now, the shower scrubby, I absolutely love. I didn't know which knit along we were going to do, but as soon as I started knitting this, I thought everybody's going to want one of these. <laughs> and it's a lovely knit because it's learning a few techniques if you're a beginner, but it also feels quite easy. So it's the kind of thing you could do while you're knitting with Netflix on while you're listening to an audiobook, maybe while you're having a conversation, and in between trips to the kitchen if you're organising dinner. But once you've got this pattern going, you'll know what you're doing. We're going to have great fun with it. Yes, the tutorials will be here on YouTube, but we will also have a little gang all together if you're in the knit along. We'll have knit and natters all set aside privately away from YouTube. All you have to do to get in the knit along is get the pattern or the kit and you're in. So that's what we're doing. The kits will open later this week. I'll be back next week with another video. I'm here every Tuesday, every week. Make sure you're subscribed and click on the bell for notifications. Of course, I do hope I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye for now. Happy knitting.